select the cube, press edge to hide it, shift plus A, go to the curve, select circle, press R, Y, 90, go into the edit mode, select these two vertices, press S and Z to scale them down. Oh, now it started to look like a tank track. That's what we want. Now, unhide the cube. Select the cube. Make it a little bit smaller in the size. And shape it as a tank track. I'll quickly do that. Shift. Once that is done, select the cube. Go into the modifiers tab and add a modifier add array modifier let me apply the bevel quickly once the array modifier is applied go into the modifier and add another modifier a curve modifier curve object select the bezier circle and the form axis change it to minus 5 now make the x 0 and increase y to 1 now you can increase the count make it loop you can also adjust the placement by messing with these values right here 1.05 maybe maybe 1.09 that looks good Okay, that looks great to me. Now, once that is done, select your curve circle, bezier circle, and when you move it on the y axis, the track moves along with it. It's so cool. There's just one problem, and it is that we cannot rotate it on the z axis, it deforms. So, let's fix that. Select your tank track go into the object constraint select child of target bezier circle disable the x-axis and click on set inverse again create another constraint child of target bezier circle this time disable all the scale and the location to the z and do not click on the set inverse this time okay Now, select your tank track and the bezier circle, press shift plus D to duplicate it and now change the location of it. Once that is done, create an empty object. Place roughly in between of those two tracks. And now select your curve object, both of them. And the empty object. Now press Ctrl plus P to parent them to the empty object. Object keep transform. Now if I move this empty object. Okay, wait a second. We have an issue here. The tracks are moving on the opposite direction. So to fix that, just press RZ180 and rotate them. That's a simple fix. Now they rotate perfectly. Okay, so as you can see that our tank tracks are working. And does they rotate? Well, they do rotate. So, thank you for watching the tutorial guys. Hope you have learned something new today. Thank you.